Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm going to do a full reptile update on what I have and what I plan to get. Um, so, let's start off with my kitty cat. Uh, this is KJ. <laughs> my chameleon just caught a cricket. Um, nom, 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 nom. Crunch. So as I was saying, this is Kitty Jones, Kitty Tigger. Um, I got him when I was five, so that implies the crazy name. Uh, he is some weird mixed cat. Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, he is white and some sort of cream color with a little bit of tabby in him. <laughs> I know he's not a reptile, but... Um, he's kind of my buddy. He has a shortened tail because uh, he was hunting and something like kind of ripped his tail in half so he had to get some of it amputated. But he is a little awesomeness cat. And he doesn't get under your feet. <laughs> um, so that's my Jackson's chameleon. Probably already saw that. Um, but... Uh, nothing too new about her. Uh, what's really weird is that she doesn't look to seem be, like, look to be getting any fatter. Um, so I don't know if she is definitely gravid or not. Um, but still, uh, every time I try to get the male, like, close to her, She'll start, like, flattening out and, um, just, uh, kind of swaying back and forth, just like that, but a little bit more, uh, mean looking. And, uh, that's just a sign of aggression, so I have the mail all the way over here, so hopefully they can't see each other. Um, but that's her. Then my ball pythons, I gotta do these really quick. Because I have seven. Buster. He is hiding. Uh, so here he is. Let me turn the flash on. Here we go. So here he is. Um, he doesn't seem to be eating frozen thoughts as much. Um, but he's still... Um, Looks to be gaining weight. He's still at a healthy weight. Um, 205 grams. That's pretty good for a 2010, like late 2010. Um, so, not too bad. Uh, he was up to 250 at one time. But, um, I think he got tired of eating twice a week. Um, so here's Bella. She has definitely been eating a lot. Um, a month ago, she was 103 grams because um, she would pretty much starve herself. And she looked very triangular and um, not too healthy. Uh, but uh, she has been starting to eat more often. And when she shed, if I can show you this, kind of like her eyes didn't shed. Hold on, let me focus. It's not letting me focus, but the eyes wouldn't shed. Um, so now she's practically blind in bo both eyes, but she still eats it if you leave it in the cage with her, frozen thoughts. Um, I really like the colors on her. She is super bright. For a normal, she has really orange sides and um, just a dark black, and it really kind of highlights everything. Then I have this moist towel just to help uh, her eyes shed. Shelby, um, she got done breeding with Buster on the, I mean, <laughs> Peter on the 17th. Um, so I removed him then. There she is. 
she is um, just kind of in her own world right now, so I'm not going to mess with her. Uh, then here's Megan. Here she is. Uh, I don't know what year she is, but she is um, pretty big. I plan to breed her to Buster later in the year if he will ever eat. Um, but there she is. And I did not notice that before. Ew. That's just kind of weird. Um, and then I'm trying to breed Peter, my spider ball python, to Allie. She, um, he had a day of resting, but he seemed to be, uh, just kind of moving around his cage a whole lot. And, um, I was thinking he was like, where's my girls at? So, I got him in here with a girl. Um... They aren't hooked up yet. Um, this one's ticklish. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> um, but I try to usually hand them, handle them once a day for about 20 minutes each. Um, but not when they're breathing, of course. Look at that head. Um, but here is Sammy, the meanish one. Uh, she looks like she's going to strike at my hand. And I just usually kind of pet them on the head just to make sure they know it's me. And she's hissing at me. Come on, girl. Oh. Come on, girl. Obviously, you do not want to be messed with. She never wants to be messed with. Then over here, I have my white's tree frog that is supposed to be in the water that I didn't fill up today. I emptied it out because they pooped in it and they filled it back up with substrate. Um, I can't really find any. Oh, there we go. My gray tree frog back here. Just kind of living it up. And then my... Um, Tiger salamander. Ooh, you can't see anything. Ah, uh, blurry. Uh, my tiger salamander and king's toad dug a little hole back there. Uh, so they can just kind of lay down. Then here's my Jackson's chameleon male. That um, was supposed to impregnate my uh, female. But I don't know. I guess it was a miscarriage or something. I don't know. Uh, here are my leopard geckos. They're doing pretty fine. Um, got a heat lamp for them if they want to go up there. And I got heat pads in the back. Um, they just usually like to stay in the back because it's a lot warmer back there. But it is, the heat pads are pretty warm. <laughs> uh, but my room is usually around 72, so it's fine. And I just cleaned that up a couple days ago. Gosh. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Ooh, I gotta make this quick. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, crap. So, I don't have the lights on turned on. Lights turned on right now. Let me do that. And there we go. Um, so, my right ear sliders. Two goldfish that they still haven't eaten for weeks. Uh, nothing too much about them. They just swim. Um, then I got my greens frog in here. Green frog, whatever you call it. Uh, where is he? There he is. Don't want to mess with him too much. He's really fast. Oh no, I'm going to be cutting this short. Um, ribbon snake is in the hide back there. Let's turn that off. And there we go. You can kind of see him back there. He's in the log. I'm not going to get him out. Then my snapper and red-eared slider, nothing changed. Uh, so that's it. Bye.